Hey guys, welcome to Blowback Industries. My name is Martin, and if your gel blaster is doing this, then here are some ways that you can fix it. So the reason that your gel blaster or your airsoft gun is uh, releasing gas and <laughs> not doing what it should is mostly because something's not working with your release valve here. Now it could be the release valve itself, could be the O-rings, um, could be that it's damaged or um, this pin isn't kind of coming in and out the way it should, could be that the O-rings um, are failing or they're damaged as well, or it could be that the blowback unit has a, uh, a faulty seal. This is where the magazine connects to the blowback unit. You can see it goes just like that. See where the two holes align. So one of these seals could also be broken. The little O-ring inside here, just see it in there, that may be damaged. Um, <laughs> or it could be something to do with the hammer assembly. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, yeah, there's lots of troubleshooting for you to do, but to save you some time, I'll just tell you what the problem was with my pistol in my situation and from the looks of things from all the other tutorials out there that help you fix this problem most of the time it comes down to the hammer assembly now for me uh, this little piece right here was broken off and because I'm not overly familiar with Glocks up until recently when I've had to tear them apart um, I didn't really know what I was looking for so if you just want to compare uh, your hammer assembly to mine and make sure that it looks like it's in good working order. If you don't have this piece right here, then don't worry. It just means you get a semi-auto, because this is full auto. Or just automatic. You don't even need to say full auto. <laughs> so have a look at that. Make sure that all the parts, uh, you know, they look like they're intact. You'd be surprised at the smallest nick on one of these parts can make it stop working entirely. So what I would suggest is to take this apart. Um, they are a bit fiddly. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, plenty of YouTube tutorials out there on how to replace these. I will link some uh, of the parts in the description. A good idea when you are buying parts to uh, take the original part you have, compare it to the part on the screen and make sure it's going to fit because a lot of the times they're mislabeled or, you know, they, you know, they're not made for your blaster but they look like they are and they have a tiny little groove that just doesn't fit. So always visually inspect it and compare your piece to the the piece that you're buying online just to make sure you don't buy the wrong part because i've done that many times and it's really annoying it's going to be one of these three things i would say most likely your hammer assembly but the first thing you need to do is just try it with another mag um, just to isolate the problem make sure that it isn't a magazine issue because um, you don't want to buy all these parts just to find out that it's the wrong part. If you have a second mag, test that out, try it out first. Um, let's see if that helps. So guys, I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment. Be more than happy to help you out. See you in the next video. Bye.